is real. What is Jess Solaris, Jessica Robin Moore? Jess don't do no lying. Jess is gonna bring you numbers. Jess with the mess, I knew this real. On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the distance. Keep it a stack. Kelly Rowland walked off the Today Show set. Uh, so she was supposed to sit down with Hoda and Jenna, and uh, she reportedly left abruptly because she wasn't happy with the conditions of her dressing room she had. Apparently, the building is old, and um, it's a tiny, it's tiny dressing rooms, but uh, but they were trying to say, like, oh, we have tiny dressing rooms anyway. But the fact that J-Lo was there to pr- promote her new album and upcoming film, and she had the biggest one. She had, like, the main one, which was bigger than, I guess, the little closet one mm-hmm. that they tried to give Kelly. Um, uh, before leaving, Kelly asked to be moved to a larger room or whatever, and and they actually denied her. So she didn't just assume, because I seen comments like, well, she assumed that J-Lo was in, was in there. She asked to be moved. She didn't just abruptly leave. She did ask to be moved, and they said, no, J-Lo is uh, uh, occupying that one. So Rita Ora was also on set to talk about The Masked Singer, and uh, she was pulled on to fill Kelly's role last minute. Um, a lot of celebrities, like, jumped to her defense while other uh, celebrities starting to call her a diva. They was accusing her to be a diva. Marla Waynes came to our defense, who I thought was was really nice. Basically, he was just saying, stop with the false narratives. Um, I've worked with Kelly, and I will honestly say she was nothing short of amazing, sweet, kind, professional, you know, giving her her flowers. And um, I agree with that. I agree with that. Like, like Usher just told us, me and you, Charlamagne, we have to hold our icons like up high, mm-hmm. up high, and I believe that you know it's Calendria rolling. Like why, why wouldn't we? After that, she went wow. on. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Don't play with me. Wow. So Perfect she went. Execution of the name. Absolutely. So she went on Sherry <laughs> Shepherd show, right? Wrong. Sherry she, Shepherd. Sh- Sherry. Oh my gosh, y'all don't know her like that. So no. Listen, <laughs> she went on Sherry Shepherd show, and this is the audio that we pulled from there. Okay. <laughs> This is your show. Uh huh. But can we take just, I, I have to tell you, what? thank you for being light, positive energy in this space, oh, in yeah. this time. Thank we you. needed you. Oh. And I thank you so much for your. Oh, life. Queen, I'm, thank you. And that was sweet. So she didn't really talk directly about the her experience at the Today Show, but um, online people were saying, I guess our dressing room was acceptable at the uh, Sherry Shepard show. And then Sherry Shepard commented back. She commented back to somebody and said, oh, we gave her a gorgeous room. It is Calendria Rowland. So uh, shout out to Sherry, you know, because she actually made that happen. She knows how to lift our icons up, obviously. Yeah, yeah I can't even believe this is a story. Drop on the clues bombs with Kelly Rowland. I have yeah. no problem with what Kelly Rowland did. If you yeah. ask these people to take time out of their lives to come co-host your programs, treat them with respect. Mm -hmm. If she feels like she's not being treated with the respect she deserves, she has every right to walk away. Stop acting like y'all doing talent a favor by putting them on your show. show. That's right, and realize nowadays, talent is doing you a favor by showing up because most talents don't need these looks in 2020. Mm -hmm. And like you said, she was supposed to guest co-host. It wasn't like she was there as a guest and she came to pull up. No, she was a guest co-host and if she felt like the dressing room wasn't up to her standard, she didn't like it, she has the ability to be like, you know what, F it, I'm out. Yeah, and she asked to be moved. Some people just would have left but she asked I, I still thought that was very professional um, but uh, Kelly has a movie coming out with Tyler Perry on Netflix it's called Mia Culpa y'all so make sure y'all watch that absolutely uh, Monique responds to her son's uh, viral TikTok videos uh, so she did a comedy show not too long ago she was on stage as a part of Cat Williams tour and this is a joke that she told I'm coming to that motherfucking airport and I've been just seen this motherfucking TikTok of my goddamn son and I'm walking through the motherfucking North Airport, and this elderly woman comes up to me. She said, Monique. I said, ma'am. She said, let me talk to you for a minute. So I had prepared myself for this old woman to tell me how fucked up I was. I prepared myself to be respectful, but to check up if I had to. I prepared myself to listen. She said, listen, my grandbaby called me and told me to watch this goddamn TikTok of your son. And I watched that shit. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I want to tell you something. I said, ma'am. She said, fuck that nigga. Eighty-year-old woman come up to you in Newark, in the Newark airport, and tell you that uh, <laughs> her grandbaby told her to watch a TikTok. Eighty years old. Now nah, you done got stuck in Newark train station before. I have. 
So you can't see that? <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> could, I could definitely <laughs> see that. Not the airports. Not the train station. Uh, I could definitely see that New York airport, too. I could see it in the brick city. 80-year-old woman? Mm, yes. Okay. Well, whatever she did or whatever she didn't, I still don't ever think it's cool to ever be like, F your kids. You know what I'm saying? Not, I, I didn't like it when Corey Holcomb said F his daughter, and I don't even like him. But I, I can literally, like... I don't like that. You know what I mean? We obviously don't. I I honestly don't even like how they, they put it out there, her and her husband, that he has uh, mental health issues or whatever like that. You know, we obviously see there's a, a hurt child. He's a grown man, but this should just all not be on, online, online mm -hmm. on the stage. Go repair that. Go repair that. I agree with everything you're saying, Jess, but that's the sad part about when you make something public. When you make something public, now everybody feels like it's their business, too. Hmm. And so now somebody coming up to you telling you, F your child, and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't get to say that. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. might feel like that, but yeah. you don't get to say that. But then again, do they get to say that? Because it is public. It is. So they have an opinion about it. And, I'm sorry. and Monique was the first person to bring it up, right? She was the first yeah. person to talk about it, and the young man responded. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, people not can make their own opinion. Not even an 80-year-old woman can walk up to me and tell me, F my son. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with last you. day, yeah. 80. I'm telling you. Like, Whatever. <laughs> I don't care what she me and my see son going like She Kobe will not did. see 81. <laughs> and she lived a long, great life anyway. Don't play. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> but no, remove us from the group chat, though. I don't yeah, want to know yeah, any more of yeah. Monique's family business. Repair like, that. That's none of our business. Repair Take that. us out. Chris Brown calls out Ruffles for being uninvited after being invited. Uh to the Celebrity All-Star Game. So it, it's no secret he took to uh, Instagram and, and uh, Twitter when Chris Brown said that he was asked to participate in the Celebrity All-Star Game and then uninvited because certain sponsors like Ruffles had an issue with it. Um, so it is no need to read what he said, but Ruffles responded to the accusations claiming that they had no involvement in who plays in the game. Um, and so Chris Brown responded back and was like, man, y'all trying to save face. Y'all already know what's up. Stand on business. Don't try to make it look like I'm tripping. You and the NBA representatives know exactly what y'all doing. And he actually posted like emails of them actually inviting him mm -hmm. to play. Um, but they still, and when they uninvited him to play, they actually, they still wanted him to come to the game to sit, mm -hmm. to, you know, as one of the stars to, for being there. And he said, he said, y'all know damn well y'all lying. And, um... Suge Knight <laughs> has a podcast called Collect Call. I thought that was so dope. <laughs> I think it's so dope. I never knew that he had a podcast. And I think <laughs> Collect Call is just so witty because he in jail. And this is what he said, <laughs> play number four. You can have a man that part of that secret society, they're going to give him an award, the Impact Award. The motherfucker that beat up more than anybody. This man will get an award for beating up women. Chris Brown is stripped from his crown and not saying... It was right by him and Rihanna got into it and they had a fight or he beat her up. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is this. He had a fight with one woman or he beat up one woman and they still casting stones at him. They don't let him come perform. They don't let him pretty much win awards. But you can have an impact award with Andre. And so this was him defending Chris Brown. And um, yeah, he was actually talking about uh, Dr. Dre when he said that. Um, but like... We were just talking about off air, like what what do we think Chris Brown needs to do? Like what could he do to, I guess, be is what's the word relinquished? Is forgiven? that the word forgiven? Or? Forgiven or whatever you know of of like what he's done. Now I, it was a lot of uh, comments swarming around, like no, he didn't just beat up one woman, and he you know now he's a blood, he's a gang member, and all that type of stuff. Um, but. I just still feel like a lot what they're talking about they're mainly talking about everybody just mainly talking about this situation with Rihanna that happened back in like 2011 or something like that I 2009 I just, 2009 mm -hmm. okay but it was no nobody can grow from those things those people make mistakes people grow from them like it's no it's no I mean, you can can't you, you, you change can, yeah I mean you can do all of that like you can grow you can evolve but I yeah. mean you know these companies still that's that's on them. If they choose not to deal with you, they choose not to deal with you. But it should be everybody, right? Like it, I think it should be everybody. If if we got one person here that's I suffering mean, for domestic violence or it whatever, it is sad. He was what nineteen years old. Yeah. Could you happened. imagine it, the things that we did at nineteen? Yeah. That yeah. we got in trouble for that that held us down to when we was in you know our thirties or forties yeah. or whatever it may be. Like that's why I say, truth be told, who cares what man thinks? Like you know, he's gone through the legal process. 
You know, as yeah. long as you've made peace with God, as long as you made peace with yourself, and hopefully the people, you know, who you potentially hurt, it doesn't matter what others think. And even if you haven't made peace with the people you hurt, as long as you've asked forgiveness, asked for forgiveness and you feel God has given you that, that's really all that matters and that's all you can hope for. Yeah. You know? But it just doesn't stop. Like, it just wasn't this. It was, remember when he was supposed to play, uh, the tribute, do the Michael Jackson the tribute? tribute? They wouldn't the let him awards. do the tribute. They wouldn't I thought let they him. did do it. No, they no, wouldn't let him do and it. and this is the thing. They're saying they're inviting him to these places. They're uh-huh. telling him that he can, and then they're turning... Turning around saying that he can't. And see, I wonder if what the NBA did was personal to Chris Brown or is the people who are over that portion of All-Star events, if they're just slack. Because I saw Gilly, you know, Gilly was on with Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson and he was saying that basically the same thing happened to him as well. They told mm-hmm. him he was playing. In the they game. They told him he was mm-hmm. in the game. In the but then game. when the lineup came out, he wasn't in mm-hmm. it. And yeah. nobody called him to tell him otherwise. Yeah. So I just wonder if they're just slack. So he showed up with a jersey on and everything? No, like, no, no. Oh, okay. I guess they, he, he said they was talking to his assistant and basically oh, told okay. him he was he was going to be in it. But then when they announced, you know, who oh, was playing. Oh, he saw that his name wasn't exactly. on the line. But, but wow. it also could be like you said. It could be like whoever's booking these acts or booking these acts. And then when it gets to legal, mm-hmm. legal's like, nah, 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 we're not doing that. Maybe. You know, mm-hmm. or, or whoever's, you know, high yeah. exec is like, nah, 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 we're not doing yeah. it. That could happen as well. But That's let's discuss it next hour. 800-585-1051. Yeah. We were talking Chris Brown. Of course, he was supposed to uh, be playing in a celebrity game. And then last minute, they said no. So is that fair? Do we Should we forgive him? Has he evolved? Let's discuss next hour. 800-585-1051. And when we come back, we got front page news. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.